Do you want to be on camera? Come here. Oh. So this is a little different than some of the videos I had before. It's actually the first video of the series I'm starting of interviews. Hannah is a great photographer. She's one of my favorite photographers in Nashville. It was great talking to her for a little bit and just kind of seeing her creative process and how she is able to develop her ideas. And she is definitely one of the most unique photographers I've ever met. So enjoy the video and uh, I'll see you next time. Who am I? Who am I from? <laughs> I am a photographer originally from Arkansas, Cersei, Arkansas, so Yule Cattle Town. I definitely found a lot of frustration growing up in Arkansas because I didn't quite fit in with the space of people that I grew up with, so I uh, tended to spend a lot of time like outside of the city that I was actually raised in. Looking back on it, I super appreciate it now because I grew up on a cattle farm, like doing rodeo, working with horses and stuff like that a lot, and so I think the kind of like calamity within that, I've carried a lot of that like with me since moving into a city or so. Cause I think being in a city is what I wanted so badly at the time. And now that I'm in a city, I'm like, I just want to go sit in a field somewhere, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's a very like slow moving place for sure, which can drive you a little crazy sometimes, but I do miss it a lot. I think it does impact a lot of what I do just in terms of portraiture because I grew up in a um, strict Church of Christ town. Um, half of my family was like diehard Lutheran and the other side was super Southern Baptist. But my parents, while they identify as Christian, a lot of like their value systems and like viewpoints are that um, that are more in line with like agnosticism. So I grew up in a space where my dad was a metal musician. My parents like knew how to get down, you know? And I had really differing like internal and external like ways of growing up, I think. So my internal home life versus the kind of opinion of everybody else around me was like pretty starkly different. But I think in that uh, it taught me a lot about empathy, which is something that I think about every day all the time, like with my portraiture, just kind of understanding that like empathy in and of itself is a human right. Understanding is not always a human right. Every person has the space and like should have the space to have their opinion heard. Even if I don't understand it, like just teaching me to like speak less, I think, and listen more. So. <laughs> <laughs> I primarily focus on portraiture. My personal stuff is a bit more geared towards kind of documentarian style and like still life kind of work. Um, but most of the stuff that I'm like doing day to day is portraits for musicians in town. In terms of like the technical side of like what I actually shoot on, I feel like everything's broken in some way, like all the time. Um, but right now I'm shooting on a Zenzebronica ETRS, which is a 645 medium format camera. Before that I was shooting on a Mamiya RB67, um, which is 67 medium format camera. But I've been shooting film for, I think, almost exactly a year now. Before that, it was all digital. So I just jumped straight in with medium format, you know? It's interesting, like your art form being something that is primarily made for other people. But I find a lot of enjoyment in like the fact that with promotional work and stuff like that, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. So like you already have like the center, you know, like that's like the music and that's like the people that you're creating content for. And I think my job is to just like put the edge pieces together. It's like the pieces that everybody else is going to see and put together first um, before you like see what the actual picture is. Shoot. <laughs> I mean, I got into photography really primarily because I was a huge like movie nerd and I couldn't make movies, you know? And just the idea of having like story driven pieces or pieces that feel emotive is uh, probably like the primary reach for me within the stuff that I do. But um, if we're talking like other photographers as of right now, I'm like a huge Avedon fan. And Nan Golden, like I think is like one of the most incredible artists to ever like exist. And all of their pieces feel very, um, it's like when you like look 
at a photo that Abaddon has taken and you see like, the expression on that person's face and you're like, I felt that feeling before, like I understand that. I think that that is my biggest influence is like less like tones and composition and more like that feeling. Honestly, I wing it most of the time, which is like not great. I'm a big mood board gal. So like if it's a client that has like booked me for something, I'll definitely get a rough draft together beforehand. I think so much of art is like finding curation in the chaos, like it's improvisational. Um, and with photography, it's just bouncing energy back and forth more than anything. Cause like I have this like little metal box that is supposed to be translated into like this feeling in a room you know that's it you just like you sit and you have a conversation with someone and like you take a couple frames in between like joking around and i think about like one of my favorite shoots that i've done not because of the final product but because of like the experience we just sat and we like cried together and like tried to stop while we were taking photos and stuff and it's just I think that's portraiture, like it's just about connection, you know, it's not about like the light, it's about um, making somebody feel seen. I think uh, the only consistency to my style is the fact that I'm shooting it. I'm not entirely sure. I think uh, my style lends itself to being more like emotive, kind of what we talked about before. Um, so if I had to describe it, I would just say that. I would just say that like, I'm like the photographer that you get when you want to like have something that feels like you, like you can reach out and touch you. Favorite photo I've ever taken. I, I did a project called To Heal and To Burn. Um, and it was very heavily based off of uh, Sylvia Plath's Lady Lazarus poem. She says, I will rise from the ash and eat men like air. Um, and she talks about like her fire red hair like throughout that piece. So um, I did a project with a bunch of redheads um, in kind of like weird 70s-esque styling. And that was one of my first like fashion projects that I ever shot on film. And I still don't know how to do a double exposure, but somehow I did a double exposure on my medium format camera. And um, it's just like this tiered image of like all of these like redheaded people. And then the underneath is just like a portrait of one of them. So um, that's definitely one of my favorites. And then my favorite shoot that I've done of recent was a portrait project that I did with a really good friend of mine, Jacqueline Day. She's a force of nature. When she was five, she was diagnosed with alopecia, which is a, um, a disease basically where uh, you can't grow hair follicles at all. She started losing all of her hair about like 18 years ago or so. And this year they found a cure for alopecia. And so she was put into a clinical trial for that and wanted to do um, portraits of herself before she started regrowing her hair back. So she had never been photographed without a wig on. And so we ended up doing a project um, just like in the sun, like partially nude, just like very, very vulnerable. And that was really, really cool to be able to be in that space. And like she just like cuts through the lens like you, like her energy is just so strong in all of those photos. I get more nervous when it's a shoot that feels personal to me, if that makes sense. So if I'm like, I have this idea or this narrative that I want to say, and I need people to fill these characters, I get more nervous with stuff like that that is like kind of my brainchild than I do with something that is like a nude portrait session or um, you know a photo shoot like I did with Jack. Because I think like as a photographer, like you're there to see, you know, you're there to like observe and to listen and to hold hands and to tell people that they're beautiful and you're there to show them what you see in them, you know. And so trying to then turn that lens towards myself and ask myself what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling and then try and put that on somebody else and like have them emulate it. Um, I find much more fear with that because um, seeing is easy, like explaining is hard. 
Um, I would love to plug the new music video I just directed. It's my first music video I directed. So uh, it's called Tuesday Night. It's by a band called Wild Love. Um, no one died on a motorcycle in it. Yeah, I would love for people to check that out.